Now, his bid to make space travel more accessible is well known, but now uh, Sir Richard Branson is hoping to reinvent what astronauts wear too. The co-founder of Virgin Galactic has just unveiled a spacesuit or a spacewear system created specifically uh, for private astronauts. The outfit is made up of a base layer spacesuit, uh, footwear, uh, a training suit and an astronaut jacket. And unveiling the new look is the company's uh, latest step in its effort to launch, of course, commercial operations uh, pretty soon. Well, I'm joined now uh, live from New York by Sir Richard Branson, the co-founder of Virgin Galactic. Thanks very much for joining us. Um, so you want your paying customers uh, to experience space and weightlessness, but also to look good at the same time. Is that it? Ab absolutely. I think um, it's, a, it's a total experience. It's going to the most magnificent spaceport in the world. Uh, it's getting, uh, looking at the White Knight 2 that is a beautiful, sexy craft that will take the spaceship, which is equally sexy craft, up into space. And if you're, if you're going to do something like this, you might as well feel good, look good, um, feel comfortable, uh, feel warm, feel, you know, d d deal, deal with the heat. Um, and, um, uh, and when you're in space, if you want to be able to float around and, uh, and not have uh, a spacesuit that's going to be, can, can, uh, be constricting. So uh, Under Armour, who've done this for us, uh, they spent two years working on it. And they've done a fantastic job. And we're, we're, we and all our astronauts are incredibly happy about it. Right. And I guess that's included in the, in the cost, is it? You know, the $250,000 or whatever it is. That, it's included <laughs> in the ticket price, I hope. <laughs> yeah, if you, if, you, um, if, if, you, you, if you... If Sky pay you well enough and if you buy a ticket, we'll throw in the space suit <laughs> as part of that. And the boots. The boots are re really nice boots. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. Absolutely. So, look, space tourism, uh, Sir Richard, has had many false dawns. You've had a number of test flights more recently after the, that tragic accident in 2014. How close are you, do you think, now to making the first commercial trip? Um, we've had an incredible few months. We've got, we put five people um, into space to uh, test um, our spaceship. Um, uh, I mean, to put that in perspective, they, they were all made astronauts. Um, and the last astronaut that was made on American soil, and, and that's including NASA, was in 2009. So, um, so I think we're the only um, spaceship company that's putting people into space at the moment. Um, you know, NASA used our spaceships to put big, big loads of scientific experiments on it, um, on, on our flights. Um, so we're now moving the whole operation to the spaceport in New Mexico. Um, that, uh, and, and, you know, moving the staff there, um, moving the mothership there, soon to move the spaceship there. Then we'll do a few more test flights, and then next year, um, uh, I'll go up and, and uh, we'll start putting people up. Because people are pushing you a bit. Elon Musk is trying to do something. Jeff Bezos is up to something. Do you think you will be the first to do this on, in one of these commercial flights? Well, I think that, I mean, that, you know, I'm going uh, <laughs> to... We are the only spaceship company, including what Elon's doing and what Jeff is doing, to put five people into space. Um, I mean, they put craft into space, but no sure. people. Um, and so I think, you know, in a sense, we, 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 we have already proven uh, that, that, that we are ahead in, in, in the race to space as far as people's concerned. What they're doing is, is extraordinary in a, in a different way and um, have enormous respect for both of them. Um, and, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll all be doing different things to do with space in, a, in, a diff in slightly different ways. And how long do you think it'll be before, you know, it becomes... Uh, the price comes down sufficiently for, you know, more people to do it? And, you know, how long before flights perhaps to, to the moon or another planet? So, I think... Um, as we build new spaceships, we'll be able to bring the price down. And the more spaceships we build, the more we'll be able to bring the price down. Um, and based on, you know, we've already got 600 people signed up. We've got another 3,000 on a waiting list. So there's, there's numerous people who want to go. Um, 
the initial people will, will go at the, the slightly higher price and that will help pay back for the hundreds of millions that we put into the venture. Um, and then in time, you know, the, the, the price will come down. Now, as far as um, other things in space are concerned, um, you know, we have other announcements to make over the next few months, which are going to be very exciting. Um, obviously, you know, we, we one, one, one day we'd love to put people into orbit. We'd love maybe, you know, to go to the space station. We might, we might, might even, um, you know, build a small hotel in space. Um, and, um, yeah, there's, 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 a, there's a lot of things. Um, uh, you know, also deep, deep probes. They won't necessarily all, all have people on. We've got Virgin Orbit up. Uh, giant rocket that we're launching from a 747, um, they can put deep probes into space. And I think one of the most exquisite pictures I've seen was a picture of a, uh, a new planet that's been discovered which just looks like uh, Earth. I mean, it's full of water, um, tremendously exciting. And, you know, it'd be wonderful to get probes to places like that to see if there's any life on it as well. Yeah, look, I hate to bring you back down to earth very uh, finally, but the quick word on Brexit, looks like there's a deal <laughs> going to be done. Um, still talk of a possible second referendum. Where are you on all this now? And do we, would you support a deal if it meant, you know, avoiding no deal and means we get on with it? Well, look, no, there's no question that no deal would have been an unmitigated disaster for Great Britain and, and um, wouldn't have been great for Europe. Um, uh, um, as, I, mean, I, I mean, personally think that whatever, you know, whatever is negotiated should go to the public for a final decision. And, the, and, and you know, when, we, when the original referendum was done, you know, I think all the difficulties of leaving Europe were not clear to people. I think they must be clear to people by now. Um, so, I mean, in an ideal world, I'd love, I'd love to see what, whatever deal's been negotiated go to a second referendum and then, you know, we put it to bed once and for all. But at least people are voting on a, a specific facts on the table um, rather than uh, promises which have been proven not to have come true. All right, uh, Sir Richard, thanks very much.